Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The new video. In this video, we're covering another nice uh, question of a binary search tree, which is uh, you're given a binary search tree, and uh, let me just bring up my iPad here. Okay, so you are given a binary search tree. Let's say you have five, seven. Six. This would be, let's say, eight, three, four, two, one. Let's say this is the binary search tree that is given to you. What the problem is that uh, two nodes in the binary search tree are swapped. It can be any two nodes. It can be any two nodes. So, let us say this one, this one are swapped 7 and 2. Okay, So, these two nodes are swapped. Now, it can be any two nodes. We know that uh, how are we going to solve this? So, one of the ways you can solve this is you can imagine that let us say if this is a binary search tree and uh, we do in order traversal then we know that it will be a sorted array. So, if it is a sorted array, so in order traversal before the swapping the sorted array would look something like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is what it would look like. But what has now happened is 2 and 7 have been swapped. 2 and 7 have been swapped. So, this question now becomes that okay, in a sorted array which two elements are swapped. This can be very simple. You can just check the previous one. So, there will be two violations. One violation is over here, one violation is over here. 7 is greater than its previous element, 2 is less than its previous element. Okay, two violations. So, that is what we have to find, these two violations we have to find in our binary search tree. So, what we are doing is we are going to take the first violation is equal to initially null second violation in equal equal to null. Whenever we find the first violation, so the first violation will arrive when we say that the current node that you are at, so it is in order traversal is what? Left, current, then right. So, if I am talking about the current node, it means left has already been visited. So, I am going to be like, let us say I go here, then I come here, then I come here. Here I say if left node is less than the previous node, it means that first has been found which is equal to previous node because this is the previous one, previous node. And then we know that we will find the first one first because it comes first. So, we will say if first is not equal to null means first has been found. If first not equal to null first is equal to previous node. Then we will keep on uh, going, we will now go over here, this looks fine, we will come over here, then we will come over here, this looks fine, we will come over here, we will do the same condition. If this not left, it is the current node, current, current node that you are at. Now we are at current node, if current node is less than the previous node, yes it is. In this case, we will say that the second node that is wrong is equal to what? Previous? No, previous is 6, the current, which is the current node current. And that is it. After that, we will just swap these two because these are just pointers to these nodes, there are references to these nodes. That is it. Pretty simple. I told you when I was teaching uh, like linked list, when such questions are given, you do not have to think, you just have to do what the question is saying and this is what the question is saying. Okay, You do understand how I am making these previous, right? So, first of all, I will have uh, whenever I choose this, this will be previous, then I evaluate this, this will be previous, then I evaluate this, I will do this, then this will become previous. Whenever you keep evaluating, make it previous. Okay, if a current node is evaluated, that is previous. Then I will go here, 
this will remain previous and this will become previous and I will go here and so on and so forth okay very simple pause this video think about it and uh, by the way what is the time complexity going to be for this solution we are visiting every node only once and uh, there's the recursive space also so we are taking O of n time right that's what we're doing and uh, for the tree we are only doing in order traversal so it's the height of the height of the tree okay so here you can see on the screen uh, and by the way find the link in the description uh, below as well for this code so the question was two node swap so we're going to create two node swap dot java first of all i'm going to say class class node int value node left node right public node int val this dot val is equal to val the constructor is done all good looking nice now public class two node swap here i'm going to create my node first okay initially that is null node second and i'm going to create a node previous that is also initially equal to null i'm going to say public void i'm going to call this one um, helper okay and I'm going to pass node, let's say for the naming convention, root over here. I'm going to call in order traversal on the root node. While, when I have done in order traversal, these two will be populated. So I will just swap. So I will say first, or I will just say, if I want to swap it, um yeah let's say ideally i just swap the let's say just the values are interchanged okay to make things simpler but you can swap if the entire nodes are interchanged as well so i can say first dot val first dot val is equal to second dot val second dot val is equal to temp so okay initially now we we assumed that only the values are swapped so you can uh, you know swap the entire nodes as well but you are pro experts in that so you can do it yourself now private void in order traversal node node now I will just do in order traversal if node is equal to equal to null return that's it just return in order traversal node dot left node dot right and in the middle we will do the work that is what in order traversal is so what is the work that we are doing check if the previous node is violating the binary search tree property so if the previous node dot value is actually greater than the current node dot value also so that we don't get null pointer exception if previous node is not equal to null and then i will check if first node is equal to equal to null in that case i will say that i have found the first violation this thing first violation so i will say first is equal to previous otherwise i will say second is equal to current which is the node okay then i will say previous is equal to current node that's it very simple stuff problem solved okay very cool 
Okay, that's pretty much about it. Very simple solution and we did a trial run as well. You can try running it if you want. Uh, it's very easy just to create two trees and uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and uh, we'll be continuing the bootcamp and introducing newer concepts, uh, you know, in the next uh, new year and I uh, want to wish you all a happy new year as well and uh, yeah, see you next year. Bye.